What's up everybody, my name is JC, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add on a ProMist filter effect into your video in DaVinci Resolve. So for those of you who don't know what a ProMist filter is, it's a filter that you typically screw on to the front of your camera, and it's gonna give your video this very dreamy, sort of nice, soft, cinematic look. And it's a really cool effect, but there's a few problems. Typically, they're pretty expensive to add on, and you know a lot of people don't have the money lying around and they might not use it so often. And second, if you're using stock footage or footage that somebody else filmed, you really have no control over that if they used one or not. And most of the time they didn't, so you're gonna have to add one on in post like I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead and hop into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you guys how to do this effect. All right, so for the ProMist effect, what we're gonna do is drag our media onto our timeline and then we're gonna select it and then go into the color page over here. And then I'm gonna hit Option S and create a new node then i'm going to hit option l and that's going to create a layer mixer okay so now i want to go over here to our effects library and then we're going to go over to where it says gaussian blur and then i'm going to drag that on to number three here and then we're going to click on that node then we're going to up the strength all the way up and then we are going to go down here and make sure that we have our color wheel selected and then we're gonna go down to the saturation and put that at zero. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a magic trick. So we're gonna right click on our layer mixer. We're gonna to go to composite mode and then we're gonna hit screen. And there you go. Now it went from looking terrible to looking a lot better. So if we wanna mess with the strength of the effect, what we wanna do is come down here to the curves and then we're gonna adjust it. I'm gonna drag it all the way down and then up because this is an effect that's easy to overdo and this is a little bit too much. If you wanted to make a more dreamy effect, then you could go for this. But in my opinion, for this scene, it's just too much. You can see how it's just making the image look softer. It's making the highlights look really soft and nice. And I think that this is pretty much perfect for this particular image. And we'll play it back a little bit. And there you go, super nice effect. I'll show you really quickly again on a different type of clip. So again, I'm gonna hit option S and then option L for a layer mixer. We add on our Gaussian blur, up the strength all the way, go down to our color wheel, desaturate our image, and then we go over to our layer mixer, composite mode, screen, then we go over to our curves, and then we drag the effect down and adjust it to our liking. And you can see now, that's without the effect, without the effect, and that's with the effect. So you can see this is a really cool effect to add on and as you can see it doesn't take much time at all. So I hope you found this useful and I will see you guys in the next video.